Alright everybody, how are we? What is going on? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video we're going to crack back into football reactions. I don't know where to start, I really don't. There is so many videos that I've seen, I've come across. I've saved my watch later folder on YouTube, I've, I've written them down, I've screenshotted videos. There is so many, so many requests, which I love by the way. Uh, so many videos I've seen that I want to react to, I want to watch. You know, I've got fucking video ideas coming out my ears. But what I haven't had is a positive mindset to be able to crack into these videos, guys. Because you need that. You need that positive mindset. So this morning, for example, I've woken up, I've gone and had a shower, I've had a coffee, I've brushed my hair back, I've shaved my face, and I'm feeling fucking good. And this is, that's the start. That's what you need to do before breaking out the camera and before reacting to these videos. So I've done what I need to do this morning. I'm in as good of a headspace as I possibly can be. And so here we are. Every time I think about cracking back into reactions, I always think, okay, running backs. And there is one name that has been brought up to me many, many times. And his name is uh, Josh Jacobs. And I think this name has stuck out to me because of the fact that it's a bit of alliteration. Uh, also the fact that it has my name in there as a last name. And he's a running back. So he played for the Raiders. He plays for the Raiders. I believe he's a rookie, yet he has been killing it as a rookie. So he's a starting running back as a rookie, which doesn't happen very often. Um, I can't remember where he went in the draft, although I do believe he may have been in the top. 20? Top 20? Because I think I was waiting for a running back while watching the draft and you know it wasn't coming, wasn't coming, then it finally did. That's just off the top of my head. But anyway. 2019 NFL Draft. The Oakland Raiders select Josh Jacobs. Running back. Yeah! Yeah! Running back. Boom! And he's got my name. As a last name. You're gonna love this kid too, man. You're, you, as you mentioned it, uh, Daniel, a, a fascinating story for Josh Jacobs. He had to put his highlights on Twitter. Brooklyn Raiders. And coach, this is some The power of social media, my friends. The John Gruden's gonna be able to use in a variety of ways. Did I hit it hard enough? Let's try. Because at Alabama, he's in the backfield. He's in the slot. You could split him out wide. He's 15 touchdowns last school. year. That's he can run inside. He can run outside. Decent. No one knock on him. They won But when it was go time, the SEC first running back in the 2019 NFL Draft, Josh Jacobs. Let me ask you a question real quick about this kid. About John Gruden, actually. John Gruden tells much this in production as a negative. I look at it as a positive. He's got plenty of tread left on those tires. Let's see. All right, look at him downhill. Get your foot to the ground and explode. This is against Georgia. I referenced that SEC title game. Here he is against Tennessee. Nice little in and out. Gets past him. He's too powerful. He's too strong. Yep, inside him. See ya. Oh yeah. He's got some nice, nice footwork on the go. Watch where this ball is, Kurt. See how difficult it is to turn over the other shoulder as a running back going. And he still got there. And then how about the physicality that he brings off the edge against Clemson? Let's get a little taste of this. Oh shit! Flex on him, Charles Davis. This is the best running back in this year's draft class, and to me, it's a classic fit there with both Gruden and Mike Mayock. Josh Jacobs. Um, not only has he been killing it, but I feel like he's been injured. But I also feel as though his story to get where he's at is amazing. Something along the lines of beating cancer. Here we are. This fella. He's he might be 22, 23 years old. He's already gone through a hell of a lot in his life. And here he is killing it in the NFL for the Raiders under Coach Gruden. I want better fucking execution. And you know, I just wanna I just wanna learn about it. I wanna see what's happening. I wanna see how fast he is, I wanna see some jukes, I don't know how he speaks. You know, this is something I, I always talk about is that I hear a name and I see a face, but I don't see anything else. And it's like a lot of these people out there, these these couch, you know commentators, fucking couch coaches, will throw out opinions and, and talk about these guys like they know them, but they really don't. And so I will never, ever, ever allow myself to do that. You know what I mean? I'll always have to do my research. I'll always play devil's advocate. I'll always give them the benefit of the doubt if need be. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. So with that being said, it's three minutes and 30 seconds of me talking shit. 
I don't have an intro at the moment, so we're just going to crack into it, guys. Josh Jacobs. Following that, there is another name. Hunter Renfro. Good old Renfro. I, I never ever... After seeing him at the Combine, he, he actually... I, I, I noticed him uh, more so than any other player because of the fact that he was probably the, the, the closest to me as far as stature, as far as size, probably as far as speed. Uh, I don't know about hand size, though, because I do remember... He had a hand size of 9 inches, which is tiny. I think he's about 5 foot 10, under 200 pounds, and white! So we're definitely going to have to check out him. Two Raiders players, two rookies, Josh Jacobs and Hunter Renfro. Alright, well, let's have a look at this. This is Essie Featured. This is the power of sports. Draft day. So, alright, so it said from homelessness to becoming a, a 2019 NFL draft first round pick. I think he went pick number 20, just off the top of my head, and if I got that right, that's good on me. Um, but there is nothing about beating cancer, so I'm not sure about that call. Let's watch. Wow. For Josh Jacobs. Wow. On the day of the NFL draft. Ah, oh, gives me shivers already, man. You know, knowing everything he's come through to get to this point, he's suiting up, ready for the draft, he's put in all the work, today's the day! And then he gets drafted as the first running back in the class of 2019. It's less about the time to wait and the ground he's Who'd he play for in college? Here. Most of it before he ever reached a field. Alabama, eh? Is it? My life, Josh Jacobs. He looks like a boost. I honestly never thought about going to NFL or nothing like that. See, man? First things first, we hear him speak. It's so very important. And you know, what I always think is these guys. These guys don't even get allowed to play football in college unless their grades are at a certain standard. Although the more that I delve into college football, I realize that they do get some favors. But I'm not exactly sure how that works, and I'm sure every single school is different. But they need to have some sort of, you know, smarts about them to even get through college. Anyways, guys, that is enough of me talking. Let's get into this. Growing up, I ain't have nobody to look up to in this position. Josh Jacobs grew up on the north side of Tulsa, Oklahoma, with four siblings. Oklahoma? Alabama, Oklahoma? 2006, when he was eight years old, his parents separated. His father, Marty, would eventually get custody of all five children. When I got custody of all kids, I was in my room by myself. But I sat there and I asked God, I said, okay, I got these guys by myself. And I said, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Fuck, bruh. What a legend. Stepping up like that, man. And asking God for the help he needs. You know, sometimes I feel like asking God, but I don't have a relationship with him. So I can't really do that. I said, I'm already struggling. And the only thing I heard is clear as day, he said, protect their destiny. Long on faith and finding work the best he could, Marty struggled financially. At times, he and his children were without any permanent place to call home. Mostly we were living out of the car and uh, literally we'll pack everything in the car and when we get to the hotel, unpack everything and then pack everything that morning. That's how I normalized a lot of things growing up. Like I never thought like, damn, I'm sleeping in a car. He would have just been with his, his four siblings, you know what I mean? Would have just been family, that's how it is. Every, every kid grows up thinking that his family is normal. If they have the right values instilled in them, uh, then, then they'll be able to see past what they don't have and appreciate what they do have. I guess I just made that up, to be honest. <laughs> I feel very unqualified to say something like that. Homeless, you know, the money ain't stretching the way it is. I'm trying to take care of other kids. If I broke down what I was making and what you see in them bills, it never equaled up. 
it never did. Seeking the space and the peace he didn't have at home, Josh found it on the field. I say football already saved my life, honestly. That's the way. That's the way. It changed my life because it gave me an outlet. Jacobs would play at McLean High School in North Tulsa, a program that hadn't produced a Power 5 prospect in a decade and a half. As a running back, his talent was plain to see. Oh yeah, anything, slicing everyone up. Oh! And the whole package, great stats, excellent speed, was really dumbfounding Beautiful why footwork. he wasn't getting more recruiting attention. I was always under the radar. I mean, I let the state and Russia. Fuck, man, you can't tackle him. Like, no paper or nothing. It was just the stigma of where I came from, the, the school I played for. Oh! Despite averaging 15 yards a carry and running for 2,700 yards and 31 touchdowns, Josh didn't have a single scholarship offer from any FBS school before December of his senior year. So that's high school. Then, a turning point. Gerald Smith, a recruiting coordinator from Dallas, suggested Josh join Twitter and post his season highlights and stats totals. There was nothing bad about his film. So I started it back over. I watched it again. I watched it again. I watched the whole thing. Next thing I did was I called my buddy and I said, hey, this can play anywhere. And he was like, what you got in mind? I said, bam. <laughs> By signing day, Josh was no longer a secret and had Bama. received several Power 5 offers. But his yeah. first choice, Alabama, had yet to commit to him. It is Bama then. So I watched him on film and I said, this guy is really pretty good. Who's this? John Saban. Nick Saban. Uh, he's got some power for his size. And I said, you know, we, we need the guy. Let's take him. He basically told me like, Hey, Josh, we want you. Imagine I'm that. It was just a dream come true. I came back and sat down, and then I picked up the hat. That's what they do, isn't it? They've, they've got like three or four different um, selections, possible selections, of the school that they're planning on going to. And then they sit down, and they grab the hat that they want to commit to, and they put it on. Now I don't know if they, if any, everyone around them knows which one they're going to pick up before they do, or it's a surprise. But it's pretty fucking cool, regardless. Alabama, boom! At Alabama, Josh ran like he had lived. How did I not hear about him last year? Go, son! Oh, he can catch too. Nice cut! Leaves him for dust! Bam! And how he lived, everything Cross the 50! He played with a chip on his shoulder. I just, my voice just broke, man. I feel like it's an advantage because I grind every rep. It's the hustle. Yeah, man, those legs don't stop. Like a locomotive. I get because I've never had it easy. Number eight. Josh Jacobs. After a standout junior season, Josh was hailed as the top running back entering this NFL draft. Junior? So it goes rookie, sophomore, junior, senior. Okay. It's high straight. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, man, With how family. proud was his, would his dad be? And through memory, Josh Jacobs has more than yards to gain and more than tackles to break. Breaking the little cycle or the generational curse or whatever we call it. I feel like it just means change for my family. Hello. Hey Josh, this is John Gruden with the Oakland Raiders. How you doing? I'm doing good, coach. Sleeping in the car, I always look back on it. It's always gonna be something that molded me to who I am. It might have been rough, but See, number one. 
Oh, here we go, Philip Lindsay. <laughs> I fucking love Philip Lindsay, eh? I think we're going to have to watch that one. We're going to call that a day on Josh Jacobs, although I could... Oh, shit. Nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. Josh Jacobs is finding a new home in the NFL. We'll watch this. With the tw this was back in October. So this is another special on, on Josh Jacobs. Okay, let's do it. 24th pick. NFL draft. The Oakland Raiders select Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. At running back. Boom! There ain't nothing better than that. RB. Fucking running back. So, kind of got my sneakers everywhere. Just throw them in the closet. Believe it or not, <laughs> this is just like the borderline baseline. I probably got like. 230 more pairs. Bro, how'd you afford that? <laughs> it's kind of weird, honestly, just to be a part of a team and knowing that I'm going to be here and just finding the house and actually, like, falling in love with a place that you're going to stay. Go-tos right now, I would definitely say mm. these because nobody have them, for real. Self-lace. Just put your foot in and adjust your foot. People don't know that you got to charge these, too. It's like a little charging plate that you sit them on. What? The the seat number, I have, I have two sets of all the stuff that's on my bed. Extra comforter, all of that stuff. I autographed Kobe jersey that I'm playing on framing. So, I mean, that's definitely dope. Now, it's just to get my favorite player, which is Russell Westbrook. So, Russ, I need you. Here's Jacobs, middle, plows to the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown, Raiders! Good. Russell Westbrook's his favorite too. player, huh? A lot of these guys go through adversity, but I know your childhood story, and I think America needs to know. Oh, well, I come from a single-parent home. Uh, I'm the middle of five. Um, I've lived in cars. I've moved hotels. Um, never really had a stable home. Growing up without a bed, growing up moving around a lot from cars, hotels, and stuff like that, it just allowed me to appreciate the little things, um, like sleeping on the bed, um, coming home to a house, and calling it your own. So I would definitely say it made me like very appreciative. I want some paintings over here. <laughs> up, want Presented by Sleep Partner. Did they sponsor this video? I wanted the Michael Jordan poster uh, where he has like his arms out. Thought about doing that right there. I don't know yet. I still have to get drapes. It's a work in progress right now. And I need a couple of TV stands. At the time I didn't. How exciting would that be, man? Setting up your first house, you've just been drafted. Well done, mate. Think that it wasn't like normal until I got older and now I see like what I went through was kind of like, I wouldn't say extraordinary, but it, cause it, it's kind of common now. And, it, and it's sad that it's that way, especially in sports. I've talked to a lot of people and they just telling me their stories. It was definitely, Difficult and it, and it was definitely something that I would never want to experience again. Ooh, looky here. Car hops. Yeah. I came up with this color on my own. What is that, a 350Z? Um, and I'm also getting a new 2020 vet coming soon. And the, the crazy, I'm gonna have the craziest colorway for it. You would have to wait to see that. It was a point of point of my life where I couldn't really like see that far ahead. If that makes sense, I couldn't. A lot of goals that I would have had. What was his What was his deal? His deal was worth. Doesn't say. He signed his four-year rookie contract with the Raiders on July 9th, two thousand nineteen. Okay, let's look at his stats. 13 games, 13 games started. 1,150 rushing yards. Hang on. Why is it saying he's played 13, but he's only got 12 in his career? Okay, that doesn't make sense whatsoever. Um, what do we got here? Jacob, in week 13 against the Chiefs, he rushed 17 times for 104 yards and a 40 to nine loss. During the game, Jacobs became the first running back in Raiders history to rush for 1,000 yards in a rookie season. He has seven rushing touchdowns, zero receiving touchdowns, 1,061 rushing yards, 146 receiving yards. 
but it doesn't have how much it actually doesn't have much about him at all it doesn't even have a photo that's surprising the high school career which we heard about Tulsa Oklahoma 5,372 yards over three seasons or is that two seasons and 56 touchdowns three years of college all at Alabama total of 40 games 1,491 total rushing yards at an average of 5.9 which is pretty damn good 16 touchdowns 48 receptions for 571 yards at an average of 11.9 with five touchdowns okay so we've got a total of 299 plays two th over 2,000 total yards 21 total touchdowns not bad 510 100 kilos and that's pretty much all we've got so far got paid the only reason I wanted to look that up is because he's buying cars and shit you know what I mean bad or I would have thought of was kind of like unattainable and now I view it more as of just me um, wanted to make the best out of every day and every opportunity every moment I feel like everything else will take care of itself after that it's up to you brother you hold the key don't let anybody tell you what you can or can't do instincts change of directions and those are things that uh, are God given you have to have instincts change of direction the awareness they're God given that's exactly right curbster have lateral ability uh, ability to evade people and avoid tacklers you've got to be have some toughness and all those things jumped off the tape the more we watched Josh the more we saw all those qualities show up week in and week out first and goal Ain't got nothing on my boy Fournette. Touchdown was, I would say fun. The way that I scored it was dope. Uh, with me leaping and things like that, I never really like jump a lot. Um, so just for me to do that, and then the picture that they had, like comparing like me and Marcus Allen. Hey, look I at that. He scored. I didn't know what celebration I wanted to do. It was just like, all right, I know I scored. I'm keeping the ball for sure. Like, <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. I just want to make sure I keep the ball. That was the biggest thing on my mind. Man, shout out to Raider Nation, man. First NFL Came touchdown. Got a dub in the game win opener. <laughs> Say cheese. Hey, 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 we in here. Let's go. The game was really late too, so I didn't get home till probably like 12:31. That's insane. Went to sleep and that was I slept probably till like three the next day. <laughs> so I can definitely tell that I was exhausted. First thing you want to talk to him about is. <laughs> I'm not trying to burn the How would you feel? Come home, first game, first win, first touchdown, first game ball, sleeping in my first house. Wow. Both ends. I Meaning you've got to get your rest. You've got to properly take care of your body. It includes your training program that's in the weight room with our strength and conditioning staff. There's preventive Let's go to eight. treatment as well. And I've had them speak with former players at that position that have shared some of their um, health tips, how they've taken care of their bodies. What a perfect Just day win. for me would be like waking up at 5.30, 5.45, brushing my teeth and things like that. Get a workout in early in the morning, so like 6, 6.30. I'm not really a big breakfast guy, so I kind of light at breakfast, probably like an omelet and a smoothie or something like that. And then Meh. straight to meetings. 10.30, 11, practice uh, start after meetings. We'll be out there for an hour, hour and a half. Right after the practice, I'll tend to do like some stretching and catch some balls probably eating lunch around one and then right back into meetings again probably leave the facility around 3 30. this is four. interesting then i'll come home get home and i'll just study film and then eat again and then lay down <laughs> that's the typical day i might beat my family in 2k or something like that when they're here but that's probably it 2K. sleep is the biggest time that your body recovers. It's just a mental reset. People don't understand how much mentally the athletes have to do on top of just physical stuff. Um, and, I, and I think that's probably the biggest thing. I mean, just being able to reset and feel rejuvenated for the next day. Just wanting to come out and wake up and start your day off the right way. I mean, that's probably the biggest thing that sleep does for me. My sleep number setting is the 35 to 45 range. It's like not too soft where I sink in, but it's like soft enough. Sometimes <laughs> we're talking about his sponsors, video sponsor. Okay. Sleep in more, so <laughs> it's kind of like a, a good and a bad thing. But um, I'm kind of getting used oh, to sleep it. Oh, sleep IQ. Just knowing I'm in my own bed, 
it's definitely different. Some days it makes me like sit back and think like, dang, I'm here. Um, and it's definitely something I will, I'm, will never take for granted again. Well, what kind of stuff do you do you have on the iPad that you like? I know you can't show us. But, yeah. But um, really, mostly just game footage. I like to do at least thirty minutes. Yeah, I might look at practice. I might look at the opponents, um, or I might just stay like study plus four runs that happen against our opponents, or like blitz pickups and things like that. Believe it or not, I haven't watched neither game. And it's, it's crazy because um, in college, I was the same way. And it's like every time I watch the TV copy and I actually hear like what they're saying, I'll be like, oh, this was dope. And that's just man on man. That's just who wants it more. Who's going to get their pads low and Josh Jacobs just finishes it off beautifully. So my tattoo, I How yeah, cool that? Oh, uh, babe, I to hear the commentators. Tattoos. I have a lot more coming. Say your name. The line is obviously like the king of the jungle. So I just feel like I'm the king and in the way that like I view myself and the way I carry myself and things like that. Um, and then the roles for me is more like symbolizes like the softer side. Like it's not so much physical and like so much like a guy, like, you know, like how people prefer right, it to be. Kind of yeah, the motto type of thing. Um, it just shows that I'm comfortable with being who I am. He's uh, kind of uh, withdrawn naturally. He's not a real outgoing person. Uh, if he doesn't know you and, and if he doesn't have a relationship with you. Come alive, baby! Score! Finish! Finish! Bang! Here we go! Nice job, Josh! When I found out Shot the was coming to the team, I was like... Nice stick. Okay, let me see how can I not be on this. <laughs> Going through that whole, like, stage before the draft, like, interviews, cameras following you, like, all that kind of stuff. What's this? Like, Hard knocks? What did he say? Okay, let me see how... Hang on. When... I found out that Hard Knocks was oh, coming yeah. to the team. I was like, <laughs> okay, let me see how can I not be on this. <laughs> Going through the whole, like, stage before the draft, like, interviews, cameras following you, like, all that kind of stuff. It was like, it kind of prepared me for Hard Knocks, but at that point, I was kind of, like, over it. Like, I just wanted to get back to playing football um, and trying to be the best version of myself. Everybody was literally asking. Like, that wouldn't be easy, man. First season coming to the team and you're, you've got Hard Knocks there. I mean, yeah, that's, that's just a whole added amount of pressure that you really don't need in your first year. Where is he at? Is he hurt? Like, what's going on? And I was just like, they don't know that I, that I asked not to be on it. I said, man, I just want to come in and focus on football. It's the most important thing when you're a rookie. It's the hardest Ooh. thing they've ever done in their life. And that's a training camp in the National Football League. That's big time work every time. That's what's, that's the expectation level every time, just like that. His goal was to not miss anything, be there, follow the rules, follow directions, and get your work in it. Because if he got his nice. work in, he knew with his ability that he was going to do something special. And he's doing that right now. Jacobs, a receiver, got a first down, 45. Oh, oh good speed. speed. Oh, they used the running back. The young man with great hands explodes. That's their best play of the second half. Raiders fans are definitely crazy. They love the team, supporting through thick and thin. So you can't do nothing but really just like love them in the city of Oakland. Our games are numbered here. Just definitely something that we will want to leave. Yes, legacy, they are, aren't they? Leave a mark on on the city. And in the fact, city. they've just played their final game at Oakland before we leave. Uh, so that's definitely huge that we do that for the fans. He's talked and shared with me several times how much this means to him, and it's important. And some guys will say that, but then do something different. And he's been spot on, 100%. It's a tribute to him and, and his character. It's been impressive this early in the season to watch him work every day, uh, to watch him have great attention to details on the field, off the field, classroom, weight room. That's respect of the game. That's respect with his teammates and his peers of just trying to show them that he wants to fit in and be a part of this team. It's a lot more like brotherhood oriented than I thought it would be. Um, I thought it would be like a lot of players just like individually just want to do their own thing. But a lot of people actually care for each other. And we all got a common goal of just to try to, uh, to be the best team that we could be and uh, take it week by week. He can go as far as he wants to. It's up to him. And what I've told him is that if you want to be great, I need one thing from you. Time. Time. He's got to put time in. And if he does that, 
sky's the limit. He can be as good as he wants to be. Yeah, and don't go looking for other teams. Presented by Sleep Number. Official sleep provider of the NFL. Hey, Raider Nation, if you like that video, please hit the subscribe button. Um, I am subscribed. Um, that was that was really good. All right, so we're gonna go Josh Jacobs NFL highlights, and this is gonna be the next video. Um, what do we got here? Mid-season highlights, rookie highlights, mid-season. Um, Raiders debut. What do we do? What do we do? Uh, let's go Raiders debut. get the first work of the night and you see the strength and the power of Jacobs as he goes ahead. John loves him. You know, it, it reminds me when I was in Tampa with John, he drafted a running back out of Auburn that he loved, Carnell Cadillac Williams, a three-down running back. They believe Jacobs can be the same thing here in Oakland. It's the only other time that Gruden used the first ball. Second and four. Very nice cutback to move the chains as Jacobs goes for eight. Nice little cut back there. Chandler Jones has got to squeeze down and make that tackle. Go, boy. And I hope they both feel good Five. about the result. Six more yards for Jacob. Here's Six. Comparison. David Johnson is wrapped up right away by a very good looking rookie in Jonathan Abram. He was the 27th overall pick out of Mississippi State. He's around the ball. He's a ball hawk. Now nah, he's not as big as John Okay, Lee. plus he's Jonathan as Abram. As but when right. you look at the total package, his ability to cover tight ends down and being an enforcer, that's who he really Nah, this is fucking terrible. We're going to have to go. All right, this is going to be the final, the final video for this one. And then in the next one, I'm going to watch his highlights. Okay? But these are his plays from week number one. Here we go. That's some good quality. Oh, that's a big run from his goal line. Oh, first touchdown in the NFL. That's yours. Yeah, Jacobs. Oh, way to stay on your feet. And down to the 32 of the Broncos. Percentage. Cost 21 of 25. Keeps it on the ground. Bags it down towards the goal. Two touchdowns. Touchdown, Raiders. Derek Carr on the ground. Opening up the Chiefs and Clark with Jacobs. Snap it with one. Take every second off. Yeah! Good run. With the help from 65. Well, that was pretty cool. Um, short but sweet highlight package. Two touchdowns. Some great runs. In the next video, we're really going to delve deep into Josh Jacobs' highlights. I'm going to watch some of his um, Alabama highlights and, and then some of his NFL highlights. So with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed. And, uh, well, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day.